Hey everybody, DeLongshot Signatures here. This is episode 124 of my 2023 TTM returns, and I have 12 successes to start off this week to share with you all. Uh, some really nice returns here, great mix of sports, um, coaches, players, um, some active, some former. Um, I am going to start off with a return that uh, could have been a failure, but thankfully was saved by a little um, extra nice touch here. Uh, but this is a one of two success coming back in 384 days. Um, he did sign both of the photos, but unfortunately those are both smeared off completely. You can barely tell that there was any ink other than a little bit of residue on there. But he was kind enough to sign um, my return envelope with a note on there. So this is coming back from former CFL head coach Ray Yock. So as you can see, there's a little bit of remnants. You can kind of see like a, I, mean, I don't even know what he was trying to write there, um, where he attempted to sign. And then I can't find anything on this photo, even on the back, that suggests um, where the autograph might have been. But he did include this little note saying thanks for the pictures and signed that. And that signature uh, will count um, as the one that I got from him. Uh, he is 85 years old, so I'm not going to attempt to bother him again. Um, he did write that he, uh, uh, he, he wrote a new return address. This was sent to North Carolina. I guess he lives in Illinois now. Um, so the mail must have gotten forwarded and he finally got to it. Uh, but that is up on Star Tiger if you are interested in writing to him. But he is a two-time Grey Cup champion, a uh, bunch of wins, in the CFL, and uh, he coached in several other leagues, and I believe in one league he had Sean Payton as his quarterback for a few games, and then he signed uh, Mike Vanderjack to be his kicker in the Arena Football League, but let him go after, I think, two or three games. Um, so very, very accomplished guy, uh, like I said, 85 years old, so I, I would resend, but you know, considering he's up there, I don't want to bother him. I'm um, just happy to get some sort of autograph back from a longtime professional football coach. Next, we're going to get into some baseball returns. Um, I didn't look up any of the stats on any of these players. Um, it would take way too long to do that and then try and record a video and then upload it. These videos take quite a while to upload. Uh, so if I miss anything important, I apologize. But first one here is... A two of two success in 119 days from, I think he's the Giants base coach. He might be with a different team now. But this is uh, Kai Correa. Signed both of these as part of my bench coach slash potential future managers project. Um, now that the season's over, I imagine a bunch of these guys have taken their fan mail home and glad to see these coming back. Then we got some former players here. First one is a former pitcher. This is a two of two success in 13 days from Chuck Estrada. Signed nicely in, could be a blue pen, might, might be a thin tip blue Sharpie, but very nice autograph there. Then we have a two of two success um, in 11 days. From former, uh, I guess you could say utility player because he's just listed as infielder outfielder on this. But uh, Frank Castro signed in ballpoint pen. So signed a uh, four by six of one of his cards. And then they had this headshot online. So I sent that, signed that one as well, also in ballpoint pen. Then we got a three of two success in 13 days from longtime player and great TTMer. Bob Aspervante. I believe uh, he's got a brother that is also a fantastic TTM signer. I do not know why I didn't get photos printed off of his brother to send out, but I will have to do that in my next batch. So he signed both of the photos that I sent, and then he included this Houston Astros. Very nice looking photo. Signed that as well. Now we'll get on to some college coaches. First one is a men's basketball coach. 
This is a two of two success in 31 days. Um, who does he coach? I believe he's the Drake men's basketball coach, uh, Darian DeVries. This one got a little bit dark spotted, but in the light you can see it. Sign that one as Coach DeVries. Then we have a women's volleyball coach for Missouri. This is a two of two success in 31 days from Dawn Sullivan. I think she's one of the newer head coaches in uh, the women's volleyball landscape. Longtime assistant coach, of course. Um, but I think she's got a pretty decent winning percentage to start off her career. That or I sent to her because her team was in the top 10 uh, rankings when um, I was looking up some new names to send to. Then we have a college hockey head coach. Been a minute since I've gotten one of these. This is a 2 of 2 success in 10 days from men's uh, ice hockey head coach for Penn State, Guy Godowski. Might be Guy Godowski, depending on whether he's, you know, of you know, French-Canadian descent or not. Um, I actually meant to send to him a long time ago, but I didn't know what the best address for Penn State's athletic programs were. Um, they are one of those schools that basically own an entire zip code. So uh, I think you just write indoor sports complex and then to, I don't remember if it's like College Park or University Park or something like that. Um but you don't have to include a street address for Penn State, which I found really, really weird. Um, LSU is the same way. They don't have a street address, just LSU Athletics Administration Building. You can just write that, and it'll get delivered. But um, finally got around to sending to them now that I know that that address works. I've gotten a few coaches there. I don't think I've gotten any players yet, but uh, very nice to add another Division One hockey head coach. Then we have a... Uh, former um, college basketball legend. I think he played in the NBA as well, but uh, is best known for his time at Purdue. This is a two of two, two of two success in seven days from Rick Mount. So some very nice looking photos here. Nice big bold signature. Very cool to add those. Then we got a couple of college football players. First one is a three of two success coming back in 31 days from Georgia State quarterback Darren Granger. So I looked up who some of the top passers were this year. And this was obviously um, over a month ago. And uh, Granger has been playing pretty well for Georgia State. So he signed both of those photos, also included this letter. Wrote, I appreciate your support truly. It means the world to me. I hope you're doing extremely well, and I hope these photos make your day. Go Panthers. Signed, and then Darren Granger. So it did, Darren. Thank you for sending these back. Uh, nice looking signature there. Really took his time with it. Um, but that was pretty cool to get back. Then we've got, I think this guy's a tight end. I don't know if he still plays for Kentucky. I think he transferred. I could be wrong. Um, this is a two of two success, although he signed one of the photos like three times. <laughs> he was having struggles with uh, his markers. Um, but this is coming back in 49 days from college tight end Keaton Upshaw. So this photo he signed twice. It looks like this one was starting to rub off, so he uh, signed this one over over on that side. And then here, he signed the front in black. Looks like that was smearing off. Signed over it again with silver. Kind of hard to see. And then, no, I was wrong. He signed this one three times because there was also a signature on the back that smeared onto this one. So a uh, little bit of a struggle there, but I'll take the autographs. Um, always cool to get it from uh, draft prospects. I'm not sure where he's ranked uh, in terms of the upcoming draft, but I'm pretty sure he was on Draft Tech's website. Last success here is another football one. This is coming back from a former uh, Indianapolis Colt who was part of the Super Bowl uh, 41 team. So this is a 2 of 2 success in 10 days from former Indianapolis Colt longtime long snapper Justin Snow. So this photo, uh, really nice pun there. Um, also a great looking photo as well. 
Here's another one of him with a very young Pat McAfee. You can see with the hair. Um, but he was the long snapper for the Colts for, I think, either just under or just over 200 games. Um, I think he's second only to Peyton Manning and maybe Reggie Wayne for most games played as an Indianapolis Colt. So that's a really cool distinction there. Um, he doesn't live that far from where I live, so this is a cool success, and I'm sure he appreciated getting some fan mail after a long, long NFL career. But that is it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.